Uh, greetings, math fans. All right, so uh, we're going to do um, the homework uh, on page 224, um, which is basically verifying uh, double angle identities. Okay, so 48 was done in your graphing calculator, and um, we, we did that one in class. That's equal to y equals sine of 2x. All right, so we're going to start with 51 here. That's sine of gamma plus cosine of gamma, uh, good old gamma, I wonder how gamma's doing, uh, equals sine of 2 gamma plus 1. All right, so probably the easiest side to work on, um, or I should say the side that's more difficult, would be the left side, because it's really tough to turn it into um, something with a quantity squared. Okay, So I'm just going to foil all this guy out here, and I get sine squared of gamma plus 2 sine gamma cosine gamma plus cosine squared of gamma. All right, and again, you're always looking for your identities. And we have uh, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1 plus 2. And right, this is a, uh, well, I'll just write that I don't need it. I could have done this one step, but it's OK. And then, of course, you recognize that's um, sine of 2 gamma. So 2 sine of 2 gamma plus That's easy. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one here. 52 secant of 2x is equal to secant squared of x plus secant to the fourth of x over 2 plus secant squared of x minus secant to the fourth of x. Okay, now please don't cancel these out. You guys know better than that. Obviously, we're going to work on the right side. Sometimes it's easier to work uh, to simplify the double angle. Sometimes it's easy to simplify the other side and turn it into a double angle. Then obviously, you just kind of want to look to see which one's more difficult. Well, um, what I would do with this one here is kind of notice that the top I can factor out as secant squared of x. So I get 1 plus secant squared of x. Okay. On the bottom, that's really a uh, trinomial. And you can factor that. Uh, a couple ways to, to look at how to do this here, but I can look at it as 2 plus x squared minus x to the fourth. Okay, So if I actually factor that guy, I would get 2 minus secant squared of x and 1 plus secant squared of x. Okay, That would give you uh, the 2 plus secant squared of x minus secant of the fourth x. All right, then of course, that guy cancels, and I just have secant squared of x over 2 minus secant squared of x. And again, if you're not sure what to do, sines and cosines look pretty good. Okay, so And remember, guys, not that I necessarily taught you secant of 2x, but that is just basically just the reciprocal of it's 1 over cosine of 2x. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, It's just the reciprocal. So I'm going to do 1 over cosine squared of x divided by 2 minus 1 over cosine squared of x. All right, I'm going to get a um, uh, get rid of that cosine squared of x on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply both sides by cosine squared of x over cosine squared of x. And that gives me 1 on the bottom. It gives me uh, 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. Okay, and you guys should recognize this is an identity. Okay, again, I'm running out of room here. But uh, 2 cosine squared of x minus 1 is the same thing as cosine of 2x. So it's, that's 1 over cosine of 2x. And then, of course, that's just the reciprocal. So we get secant of 2x equals secant of 2x. Okay? All right, 54. We're going to do sine of 2 uh, grandma's back. Sine of 2 gamma equals 2 tangent of gamma over 1 plus tangent squared of gamma. So I think, again, my, the right side is going to be easier to work with because it's a lot easier to convert into sine of 2 gamma, which pretty much what we're doing is we're trying to convert into 2 sine of gamma, cosine of gamma, okay? and then we'd be good to go. Well, the first thing you guys should recognize is that bottom is an identity. Okay, So it's 2 tangent of gamma, and 1 plus tangent squared is secant squared of gamma. OK, 
Okay, very important to recognize that. And then what I would do is um, write it as uh, you know sines and cosines. So we have two sine of gamma over cosine of gamma divided by one over cosine squared of gamma. So I can multiply both sides by cosine squared of gamma over cosine squared of gamma. Or you could write it as two sine gamma cosine gamma times cosine squared of gamma over one. Either way is, is okay with me. Um, that would give you two sine of gamma cosine of gamma, right? Because this guy cancels with that. And then the bottom just completely cancels. So we just have two sine gamma cosine gamma. Hey, hey, we're all set. It's the same thing. Sine of two gamma equals sine of two gamma. Sweet. All right, let's try number 56. Very exciting. So it's negative tangent of 2 theta. Now, this is a little bit more challenging. But I'll tell you, math fans, what you need to know is you need to know your identities. Okay, so you need to know your double angle for tangent. That's really, really, really important. Um, because you can see that the right-hand side is actually real similar to what I'm looking for, right? I'm looking for 2 tangent of theta, uh, 1 minus tangent squared over 1 minus tangent squared of theta. I'm looking for that, and it's really close. Now, the only thing I don't have is, of course, I have secant squared. Well, how do you turn that into, into tangent? Just use one of your identities. Isn't secant squared equal to tangent squared of theta plus 1? So I have 2 tangent of theta over tangent squared of theta plus 1 minus 2. Okay, so let's combine stuff together. Oops, 2 tangent of theta divided by tangent squared of theta minus 1. Okay, so we're almost there, almost there. The only thing that I have is it needs to be 1 minus tangent of theta, if you guys remember that from your identity. All right, well, I can just flip it around. So how about 2 tangent of theta divided by, I'll factor out a negative 1. So it's negative, and then it's going to be 1 minus tangent squared of theta. And that's an identity, and then I can say that's equal to negative tangent of 2 theta, which is equal to negative tangent of 2 theta. Okay? Sweet! Sweet! Okay, next one. Number 57. Sine of 4 alpha. Very similar to the cosine of 3 alpha that I believe you did in class. So sine of 4 alpha, um, 4 sine of alpha cosine of alpha cosine of 2 alpha. All right, so we're definitely working on the right-hand side. Um, though I guess it doesn't, this one you could almost look on the left-hand side too, right, and just split up sine of 4 alpha. But I'm just going to put some stuff together here. It's your call, as long as it works out for you. Um, I, I have 4 sine alpha cosine alpha. Well, I'm going to take out a 2. So I can write 2 sine of alpha cosine of alpha cosine of 2 alpha. Well, that 2 sine of alpha cosine of alpha, isn't that the same thing as saying... Um, sine of 2, it's an extra double angle for sine, right? Okay, so now here we actually, this whole thing, we have another double angle for sine. It's, remember uh, when I first showed this to you, that's like your value of A, 2 sine of A, cosine of A, and so A is equal to um, 2 alpha. So that means it's going to be sine of 2 times A, or 2 times 2 alpha, which is sine of 4 alpha. So sine of 4 alpha equals sine of 4 alpha. Check. Sweet. Okay, let's do number 58. 1, over, or one plus cosine of 2x uh, divided by sine of 2x equals cotangent of x. Definitely the left-hand side. I think it's very complicated to try to manipulate uh, cotangent, which is just cosine over sine. Okay, so um, I'm just going to kind of break things up a little bit. And now you have, a, you have kind of a choice here, math fans. I have cosine of 2x. I could do uh, 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. I could do 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. Or I could do cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x. I want you to realize that the way I'm trying to simplify this, I want to get rid of this 1 here. What's one way to get rid of the 1? Isn't it if I do 2 cosine squared of x minus 1, that gets rid of the 1, right? So 1 plus uh, 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. That's what cosine of 2x is. 
That's pretty sweet. And the bottom, 2 sine of x, cosine of x. So these guys cancel. That's pretty nice. So I get 2 cosine squared of x over 2 sine x, cosine of x. Oh, that's sweet. The 2's cancel. The cosine cancels with this guy. And I have cosine of x over sine of x, which equals cotangent of x. Sweet. 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 OK, 59. Oh, this one's a little evil looking. Tangent of theta minus 45 degrees plus tangent of theta plus 45 degrees equals 2 tangent of 2 theta. Obviously, the left-hand side is what we're doing. And, you know, you're, what I would do is, of course, we're, we're doing sum and difference of tangent, right? Because we have theta minus 45 and theta plus 45. So let's just plug it all in. So we have tangent of theta minus tangent of 45 degrees all over 1 plus tangent theta tangent of 45 degrees. Remember the sign's the same on the top and then it's opposite on the bottom. Uh, plus, same thing, tangent of theta, and now it's going to be plus tangent of 45 degrees all over 1 minus tangent of theta tangent of 45 degrees. All right, and then of course tangent of 45, you guys know is one, so we have tangent of theta minus one over one plus tangent of theta um, and times one, right? Okay, plus tangent of theta plus one over one minus tangent of theta times 1. All right, that looks pretty good so far. So really, um, we have tangent, let me just kind of simplify, tangent of theta minus 1 over 1 plus tangent of theta plus tangent of theta plus 1 over 1 minus tangent of theta. Now you guys ought to recognize what to do here, all right? You guys should know we need a common denominator here, right? So we multiply this by 1 minus tangent of theta, 1 minus tangent of theta, and this one by 1 plus tangent of theta. So we get, um, get the right little smaller here, tangent of theta uh, minus 1 minus tangent squared of theta uh, plus tangent of theta. I'm going to put it all, I'm just going to do the whole thing here. And then um, it's going to be plus tangent of theta, uh, plus tangent of squared of theta, plus 1, plus tangent of theta. Whew, brutal. All over, that's going to be 1 minus tangent squared of theta. Okay, I'm going to have to cursor down here to fit everything in. Okay, and let's see, lots of things cancel. This guy cancels, tangent squares cancel. Um, we have tangent plus tangent plus tangent plus tangent. So I actually have four tangent of thetas here. And the ones cancel. Okay, so that's all I have. I just have four tangent of theta over one minus tangent squared of theta. Of course, I can just take out a, a two, right? So I can just say that's equal to 2. And I can even do it this way, right? Uh, 2 tangent of theta over 1 minus tangent squared of theta, like that. And then, of course, that's your identity. So it's 2 uh, tangent of 2 theta equals 2 tangent of 2 theta. Check. Sweet. This is going along pretty well, math fans. Uh, let's go to the next one here. All right, um, this is number 61. Uh, 2 cosine of 2 alpha, or as you like to say, fish, sine of 2 alpha equals cotangent of alpha minus tangent of alpha. Um, I would probably go with, it's kind of a hard call here, but I would probably go with um, the right-hand side. 
And the only reason, reason is the right-hand side because I almost look at the left-hand side and say, you know what, I've got cosine of 2 alpha and sine of 2 alpha. That's really like cotangent of 2 alpha. So I really just need to kind of get that into that form, and I'll be good to go. Um, so I'm going to go with the, uh, some find the right side. So I'm going to write that as uh, cosine of alpha over sine of alpha minus sine of alpha over cosine of alpha. And then I'm going to get a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by cosine of alpha over cosine of alpha and sine of alpha over sine of alpha. So I get cosine squared of alpha minus sine squared of alpha over sine of alpha cosine of alpha. The next thing I can do here as math fans, I can recognize, of course, cosine squared of alpha minus sine squared of alpha. That's one of our identities. That is a double angle for cosine. So it's just cosine of 2 alpha over, and this is interesting. It's sine of alpha cosine of alpha. Well, you know what? I'm almost there. Isn't that, doesn't that just need to be uh, a 2 in front of here? Well, let's put a 2 in front of here, and let's put a 2 in front of there. Okay. Now I have 2 cosine of 2 alpha over sine of 2 alpha, okay, which is our answer. Done. That was pretty mellow. Just kind of had to, again, recognize uh, some of your double angles. Okay, let's do our last one here, number 71. We have tangent of 3x. All right, so we're just going to split that up. Um, to uh, tangent of 2x plus x. All right, then we're going to kind of keep expanding that guy. We can use our uh, sum for tangent. It's tangent of 2x uh, plus tangent of x over 1 minus tangent of 2x tangent of x. Okay, then we apply our double angle for tangent, and we're going to get... Uh, 2 tangent of x over 1 minus tangent squared of x. That's tangent of 2x plus tangent of x divided by 1 minus, same thing, right, uh, 2 tangent of x over 1 minus tangent squared of x times tangent of x. Okay, so that's not too bad. And I can put, let me just kind of simplify this a little bit here. 2 tangent of x over 1 minus tangent squared of x plus tangent of x divided by 1 minus 2 tangent squared of x. I'm just putting that, that uh, it's tangent, 2 tangent of x and tangent of x together. Okay, I'm going to kind of keep cursoring down here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 minus tangent squared of x or 1 minus tangent squared of x. And that will give me 2 tangent of x plus tangent of x times 1 minus tangent squared of x over uh, 1 minus tangent squared of x minus 2 tangent squared of x. Okay, and then let's kind of distribute. We got 2 tangent of x plus tangent of x minus tangent cubed of x over, um, we can combine that, so we got 1 minus 3 tangent cubed, or tangent squared, sorry, tangent squared of, of x. There we go, that's a squared here. And last thing, just combine terms, we get 3 tangent of x minus tangent cubed of x over 1 minus 3 tangent squared of x. And that's our final answer. That's tangent of 3x. Okay, It's not an identity that we're proving, but it could have been an identity. Uh, but we wrote everything in terms of like no double angles, all tangent. All right. Anyway, that's the homework, math fans. Um, I hope you guys uh, did well on this, and um, have an awesome day. Adios, math fans. Goodbye.